Okay, this is the P3 January 2022 paper. This is question one that we're going to be looking at. Let's have a look at it then. It says, find using calculus the x-coordinate of the stationary point on the curve with the equation y equals 2x plus 5 times uh, e to the 3x. So first thing we need to recognise is that this is going to be a differentiation question using the product rule. If I want to find the stationary points, I'm going to differentiate and put equals naught. Let's get started with it, and we can look at it in a bit more detail as we go through. So the first thing that we can say is that if we've got, excuse me, y, oops, y is equal to 2x plus 5e e to the 3x, then the way that I do these uh, product questions is I choose u to be one of the expressions and v to be the other one. And then I'm gonna differentiate. I tend to put my differentials underneath here. So du by dx, the differential of two x is just two. dv by dx, the differential of e to the three x is e to the three x times the differential of that thing there. Or in other words, three e to the 3x. I would hope that's very straightforward for you. The way that I write down the products rule is I say that dy by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Some people might use u dash and v dash instead of uh, the differentials were there. Absolutely fine. You, whatever you are happy to do. The reason I've got it like this then and the reason I've set it out like that is that when I'm doing u dv by dx, I know from my diagram it's always gonna be that bit there, which means I'm less likely to make any sort of the silly copying errors uh, that generally I do tend to do when I'm doing this work. So that's u dv by dx, and the other one is gonna be those two times together. So that's plus um, v du by dx should be e to the three x times two, but I'm gonna do that straight away as two e to the 3x here. Now, if they ask you just to find the differential, we've done it. We don't need to do any more. You don't need to factorize and tidy it up. If they want you to do that, then they'll do similar to what they've done in this question, is they'll ask you to do something with the differential. Let's go back and focus a little bit more on what the question is actually asking us up here. It says, can we have the x coordinate for the stationary point? Well, I hope that you're okay to say, and I'm gonna write it down for the examiner, at stationary points, we should know that dy by dx is going to be equal to naught. So if I get that, then I'm going to have this thing is equal to naught. I'm just going to tidy up this bit here now, and I'm actually going to write this as 3e to the 3x, 2x plus 5 plus 2e to the 3x is equal to naught. So I've just moved it around just slightly there. Uh, factorize now, so even if we hadn't factorized before, we're gonna to need to factorize to solve this equation. E to the three X can come out, which will leave me three, two X plus five, plus two there equals naught. And they do this a lot with exam questions here, where that looks like a really complicated equation with lots of different answers. But here actually when I'm doing this, well, let's break it down. I'm going to get e to the 3x equals 0, or the other bit equals 0. But the e to the 3x part, this can't be 0, okay? If I just quickly show you, just stop for a second and think about what e to the x looks like as a graph. If we have e to the x, the one thing we know about it is it has this shape here. This is 1 there. Uh, but more importantly, not only does it not work out to be a negative, we actually have that the x-axis is a, an asymptote. So it can't ever equal naught. So because of that, you don't have to draw any of that out. That's just me explaining it to you guys. Uh, we can say there are no solutions there. Please make sure you do actually say that there are no solutions as we're going through and doing this bit. So that means we've got the other bit. Let's just tidy that up. 6x plus 15 plus 2 equals 0, which gives me 
6x equals minus 17 and gives me x equals minus 17 over 6. Do I need to go back and find the y values? No, because it only asks me for the x coordinate of the stationary point here. Only worth four marks there. So they've decided that's enough work for us to do. If I did need to work out the y value, all I do is take that x equals minus 17.6 and put it back into this function for y, but they're not asking me for the stationary point, they're actually only asking me for the x value of the stationary point, which I think I've got there. Okay, hopefully that then makes sense for question one.